Hi internet people! Okay, I probably don't look outwardly super festive, but I got this sweater in an ugly Christmas sweater Christmas party like a million years ago and I still have it and it's really comfy, but I am here to share five Christmas movies that you should still definitely watch even though today is the day after Christmas. So I'm actually posting this fangirl freakouts early, which you may have noticed. Um, I'm actually doing some traveling, so some of these videos are getting posted a bit off of their normal release date. But the basis of this video is just a quick five, five, only five. Okay, there's a bonus six, but shush, I'm really bad at top fives. So I have this list. It's really just a super random list of movies that I watch every Christmas that you should definitely still watch, even though you already wrapped up all of your Christmas shenanigans, I would assume. So the first on this list is Love Actually, which I admittedly did not used to watch all the time, but now this movie has a special place in my heart, so it's happening every year, and I'm probably going to wind up watching it not on Christmas too more than once, uh, which is surprising, I know, because I'm very strictly like, no Christmas movies before Christmas, but this one I'm making an exception for. So Love Actually is first. The next on my list is The Year Without a Santa Claus, which is my absolute, like, one of my go-tos every year. I used to try and memorize what night it was on for the ABC, yes, back when it was ABC, um, 25 Days of Christmas, and I would make sure to watch it every year. I love Heat Miser and Snow Miser, and it's just a cute little movie. The songs are cute, too. So, there are those two. Then, The Santa Claus. So, if you... I'm sure you know which one I'm talking about. I'm talking about the first one, The Santa Claus, where Tim Allen initially becomes Santa. I watch that movie every year with my brother and sister, and this year we actually decided to go to Denny's on New Year's Eve, which is something we've never done before. New Year's Eve. I said New Year's Eve. I meant Christmas Eve. You know what I mean. It, the holidays are all blending together. <laughs> but okay, we decided to go for Christmas Eve. So that's totally from that movie. Tim Allen winds up taking his kid to Denny's because he burns the dinner. But it's a fun movie. It's very old school just because it, like, it looks very 90s. But it's fun. Alright, so there's three. Yes, yes, I'm keeping very strict, strict count of this list. Actually, no, no, I was like, I could pull one of them. I could. But I'm not going to do that. Next on my list is The Nightmare Before Christmas, which I watch every year and is one of my favorites. I refuse to watch it near Halloween, though, which I'm sure shocks people because everyone's always like, oh, you can totally watch it during Halloween. It's a Halloween movie. I know, I even think, um... Tim Burton came out and said it's technically a Halloween movie, but I refuse to accept that. I watch it at Christmas, I listen to the music at Christmas, except the song This Is Halloween, but Night Before Christmas. Then one of my like super, super random picks is Gremlins. I just think that movie is so random. It's definitely a Christmas movie. It takes place around Christmas, like the whole thing is set up around Christmas. So. It totally counts for me, but it's just such a random movie to be a Christmas movie is why it seems so oddball to put on the list. But I still absolutely love it. I love the theme. I love Gizmo. It's so... It's just such a random movie to watch, but I really, really like it. So my other one on this list, the the Secret Six that I was not going to put on, then I was like, yeah, I'm totally still putting it on. You've probably seen it. It was on all day yesterday on like TBS. A Christmas Story, which got a live set up. Um, but yes. A Christmas Story is also on my list. You can just put it in on replay in case you didn't get to watch the CBS marathon. So technically six, but let's just say Gremlins and The Christmas Carol are like lumped together, kind of. They're both sort of oddball, quirky kind of things. Anyway, those are my top five to watch, even though it's not exactly Christmas anymore. Let me know some of your favorite Christmas movies in the comments below or over on Twitter. I am at Clef Notes. You can find me on my blog, clefnotes at wordpress.com. I write for the Nerdy Girl Express, thenerdygirlexpress.com, and on the Snapchat, the Nerdy Girl EXP. Bye, internet people.